I remember I was 12 year old. There was a small birthday celebration happening at my uncle's house and everybody was invited. That day my father had his office, his railway duty. So for Indian Railways he worked. So I went with my mother. My, I was very happy. Do you remember your childhood days when you used to be very, very happy? That was me that day. I went there and I was playing with other kids at my uncle's house. It was evening time at about 7.30 p.m. And it was amazing. I was absolutely amazed about things happening that day. I felt like singing. I felt like playing. I was playing with the other kids. And I remember I got on a table and I was playing with some other kids. You know, when you are 12 years old, you can really stand on a table, you can play. And that was me. Suddenly, I remember my, my cousin brother came. He was 25 years old and he came and he said, get down from my table. It was his study table. You know, my cousin brother at that time, he was 25. He was macho kind of person. So I was 12, the small guy, and he was this 25 year old, very strong, a little angry. He said, get down from the table, Bittu. I ignored him. I kept playing because I was happy. And the next thing I knew, bam, he slapped me hard. And I fell on the floor. There was deafening silence at that time in that room. And as I fell on the floor, you know, for two, three seconds, I did not understand why he slapped me, why like this can happen. And from the floor, I looked at my mother. I saw that Ma did not say anything. For the entire evening that day, I did not talk to anybody. I did not even eat the birthday cake. That day when I came back home, I was having a walk like this with my mother. But that day when coming back home, I did not hold my mother's hand. I was devastated. My self-confidence was destroyed. And after coming home that day, I cried profusely. And I remember asking my mother, Ma, why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you protest? And I remember my mother said, Bittu, we should not protest. You should learn how to tolerate. And from that day, this 12-year-old boy, Bittu, Bishal, started tolerating. I started not to protest and talk and I became very very silent everywhere in my personal life I actually did not speak much to my friends anymore you know why because we don't protest we tolerate we don't express we, we tolerate and then later on when I was you know a few years later when I was in um, ninth grade uh, a school teacher um, bullied me for four consecutive years he used to be very mean to me and he used to call me names he used to laugh at me insult me every single day and i in internally i thought i should say something i don't want to grieve about it i don't want to regret about not saying i should i should say something i want to tell my father i want to tell my mother but i remember the voice we don't protest we tolerate we don't express we tolerate and that became me for many years and the reason I'm sharing this story with you is because just like any thought just like this tree that thought that was put into my head we tolerate that was a seed that became you know a sapling that became a small plant and it became a big tree and when I started working for different companies you know business standard and first source I had this issue with confidence I had this issue with, with not expressing myself fully and that kept me in depression and until I you know until I met 
some of the experiences and some of the people in my life i learned i decided two things number one i recovered from that shock and pain and i discovered that nobody can give me permission to speak and express only i can do that for me and that's why that's when i made a mission made it a mission from my life that i'm no more going to stay in depression i'm going to step into expression and that's what i do so in this world of unlimited opportunities that's what i do now for the last 15 years i'm very thankful that you know i've been speaking and training people to express their voice and there is a story you know in you there is a story that you don't have to express right now but there is a reason why you don't express so sometimes when people come to me they say vishal i don't know how to express myself my confidence is down vishal sometimes i feel my my voice is not strong enough vishal i feel inferior or superior too much superior sometimes vishal i feel that i forget my points and i'm here to tell you it's not just a surface level problem there is a deeper level problem for which you're not able to ignite that speaker in you there is a deeper level reason why you don't have that spark anymore there is a reason for that and you can overcome that reason all you have to do is find the right first of all you have to find what happened and sometimes people say no nothing bad happened well you don't know your life enough in that case because every fear can be brought down to the things in your life okay it can be brought down to things that might have happened in the past does that make sense to you so here is what i offer to you if you want to have a breakthrough in your confidence forever if you want to boost your confidence focus on your ultimate certainty so that you can demonstrate your courage so that you can thrive you can flow you can satisfy your soul's desire to speak and express with power expression not depression anymore no matter what happened in the past you let it behind you not let it define you anymore because you want to shine through if you want to accelerate and dominate in your life reach out to our team we'll be talking to you exactly how we can help you find your voice find your confidence that 12 year old bit too is still inside me who was in trauma who was in pain and there is a 12 year old or 15 year old or 18 or 25 year old in you who is still in trauma and has some pain has some memory that happened and all you have to do is find a way to eradicate it so you can own your confidence does that make sense to you hope you have a great time enjoying this sharing this sunshine with you right now vishal sarkar here if you want to know if you are a leader and if you want to find your confidence if you want to master your public speaking and if you want to accelerate your speaking so that you can achieve financial freedom so that you can go to the highest level in your career so that you step into your expression now then give us a call on the number that you see somewhere on the screen because i want to train you okay i don't know if you're the right fit but i'm looking for the right people who are ready to transform their life So before this program I used to struggle with lack of confidence while speaking but after joining this program I have increased my confidence level by 5 times imagine Vishal nothing else you have been such an inspiration I don't know I don't know man I mean this has been like I think I've been waiting for you in my life, Vishal. That's the only thing. I don't have anything to say. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I personally have been struggling a lot finding the right mentor, but the connection I made with him is I never had that connection with anyone, anyone, and that I always tell that uh, he is the best. Before this this program, I used to be nervous when I'm addressing a large crowd, but now I am super confident in addressing large crowd. The value I got from this program is hundred times, hundred x, and even if I, if, even I paid, even if I could pay, hundred times more, I would be satisfied.